Stayed down, always locked in I learned from all of my losses Stayed me and never knocked in Hustle hard up on the daily I swear nothing ever fazed me They watch the steps that I be taking That's why they say that I'm amazing uh, Been the top dog before the nine Since I've always been a public figure Now the frame then got too big Cause most people wanna get up in it so mad right now. Why is he, why is he, what, hey, what are you talking about? I have no idea what I'm talking about. First off, it doesn't matter what we're talking about, bro. You don't have to be so aggressive. I wasn't. I just said I don't know what you're fucking talking about. How is that aggressive? Are you a pussy or what? Like, I, mean, I literally, literally just said. Right now, right I wasn't now, even I'm being, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get emotional. I'm, I'm gonna get emotional. Angry, but your sensitivity is now making me you know what? angry. Because I'm light skin. Light skins are sensitive, okay? <laughs> you know who's gonna decide? You know who's gonna decide, Dave? The people are gonna decide when they see this if he's angry or not angry. And I'm guessing yeah. if Let's we pull. Let's take a poll. Well, I got this guy like angry. rubbing, like, like fucking tickling me when I come in. Did I fucking touch you? I, I didn't even Two touch you. Ago. I didn't even touch you. All he asked about was the blue check. That's and I said, I don't know what the fuck you're talking it, about. And it just set him off, bro. No, it didn't set me off. It so said, now we know now no touching, no, no touching and no blue checks. It might need to be the 7 a.m. club for Grant because at 5 a.m., he's angry, bro. He's angry. You know how on Instagram, there's people with a blue check mark and they used to be celebrities or like athletes. You had to be verified and you couldn't get these things. But now anybody can buy a blue check mark for $14.99. And you anybody's name? No, so you could get a blue check mark, you're verified. But you gotta pay. Them. Well you gotta give them your driver's license and whatnot. But the point is, is the people who had the old check mark are getting upset that any Joe Schmo can get a check mark now. So, uh, yeah, they can fuck right off. I bought that, mine for $14.99. That's, that's what we worry about in society, huh? Yeah. All right. Wife, we have kids, the, we have the easy club today. See that? All down. It's fucking pitiful. <laughs> Your little, every, every time Grant's on the camera, he's like dropping, you know, F-bombs and... That's because I come from the construction world. If people are sensitive to the F-bombs, they will not hang out with me. I'll guarantee that. I think a lot of people are going to like you. There's going to be a sliver of the population that wants to come here just for you. Yeah. I go for more for the hate. You might be the star, dude. Of this whole shit. One day. You can keep that. One day. Koala bear? Oh! So they get the, the, rope. the koala bear! The, the big koala bear, <laughs> sir. Oh, that's a cute koala bear. That's the cutest koala that I've ever seen one. AKA bear. They got dumps. Jesus sandals? Yeah. They got dumps? The, the Wipe air, them away or what? The Air Jerusalem got dumps. <laughs> Where, where'd they go, dude? They went right to the trash. <laughs> who, threw, who, who threw them away? Like after we were that, making fun of them? Yeah. His wife threw his sandals away, dude. I'm so pumped. They're not sandals. Uh, what are they? Jesus thumbs. They're, they're called. <laughs> They're called power sandals. Power sandals, that's yeah. really what they're called? That's what they're called, brother. Dude, homie comes in here one day in the ugliest, like, toe sandals I've ever seen in my life, and his wife threw them away. So Beth, when you watch this video, you're on you're on Team Supra. That's I your video, I'm like, had, I have zero appeal for that. Zero. I had to roll around with, like, another dude's sweat on me, bro. Like, I'm not about, I'm just not about. Zero, bro, zero desire. these people always say this, like, what, what are you gonna do when you get in a fight? I've never seen two guys, like, get in a, like, a real fight, and then them, like, end up doing BJJ on each other. Like, no, they don't fucking do that, dude. Fucking no way. <laughs> oh my hey, god. Hey, it's you, have you? Yes! Where? Where? All the time! In bars? Where? Everything. Grips. When have you saw two random dudes get well, in a fight, just lock and then do like an BJJ and shit? Two, two untrained dudes? Oh, all the time. They're throwing hay haymakers at each other. That's not doing BJJ. That's just no. rapping. But have you ever seen a trained person with an untrained person? No. You Probably you watch Instagram videos it's of this. because an untrained person's dead. That's why you haven't seen it. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm not even entertaining this anymore. Now he's okay. My guy Jeff. Like, we're, we're playing uh, Spyglass, he hits the ball, bam. And the ball starts trailing right. This whole course, you can't see anybody, right? So we get up to the 18th hole, and uh, these guys are just like staring at us. I'm like, they're pissed off. You know, ball might have came close to them. So I get out, they're like, they're like, the ball hit us. 
And I was like, oh shit, that was Jeff. Like, I didn't, I didn't hit him, right? And, <laughs> there was this boy under the bus. <laughs> littlest guy wow. too there. And so, oh, and so I'm like, and so, man, I just hear like this guy come just hot, like, really? motherfucker hit me. And I'm like, oh shit. Like, he's like getting close. I'm like, fuck, throw my club down. Walk down there. I'm like, we almost get in a scuffle on this Pebble Beach course. I'm like, shut your fucking mouth. Like, we tried to hit you. Like, come on. So anyways, uh, my point being, like, nobody, my point is, we didn't get down and BJJ on the fucking golf course. <laughs> Tom, like you're not an altercation type of guy. You're just like you're a. Well, that's what. Honestly, that's what BJJ does. It teaches you to be cal calmer, because you're trying to de-escalate the situation. That's right. right. That's right. But you like so you really need. I mean, I'm here. Yeah. Instead of this, I'm I'm, I'm here. I'm here too, dude. I'm like, hey man, we're good. Yeah. We're chill. Maybe Grant needs that. Hey, that's the answer. Grant needs some of that because he's so angry. <laughs> no wrestling. Tell us about when you were just fat. <laughs> yeah, well, I remember vividly. I had the conception that I was still like pretty damn good shape. So wait, wait, wait. This is good. So you look in the mirror, even though the, and you have this like, yeah, delusional. I, I think a lot of your clients like. Can you go through that, that yeah, like, yeah. psychology? I'm not that bad. I'm, I'm not, not that, that bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're like, I feel strong. I'm still an athlete under under here, but I still feel like I'm looking at an athlete. Up until somebody that's going to be a really real with you looks at you like you're an op, like a gorilla in a cage, I don't know, zoo or something. A pretty fat gorilla. Yeah, a huge fat gorilla. And then and then I had to be like, you know, give her the side eye and like, what's up? She said, hey. That football season? Yeah, it's never coming around again. Why are you eating like a football player? Wow. Then I went back into the, and I'm like, damn. I saw myself as a fat ass for the first time. Wow. In like four years. So that was the moment? Oh yeah. And then how long until you like snapped in? It took some months. It took a couple months. It took a couple months. Yeah. It, it took some time to, to really hone in and object to be like, damn, okay. You're fat as shit right yeah. now. Yeah. You gotta change this. Mm. And it took a minute. A if lot. your psychology for three or four years is like, oh, I'm still cool, I'm still good, yeah, it takes time to reverse that too in your head. I love that. that but you, but but my my click was my wife looking at me objectively like I, I was a fat gorilla. Everyone needs a bath. That's that's real. Everybody talk. needs yep. a bath, man. Yep, it's true. I will not let a man massage me. Nope, will not. Nope, not happening. No way in hell. It's like wrestling. It's, it's, like, like, it's like doing BJJ with Brad. <laughs> Yeah! 99! 100! <laughs> what the fuck you mean? <laughs> you can't compete with that, bro. Come on. Yeah. You're a basketball guy, I'd just be like... Just... I had the ball. I had the ball. I had the ball. I just... You... If you don't have fun in this at all, it's like it's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. This is the uh, this is the president of Corey. The president. Games, baby. <laughs> yeah. He's the man, dude. This gym, this gym is the best gym in America, man. I promise you. Like use use a band and like control those pull ups. It's a different feeling. Too many people do pull ups like like you know in CrossFit you see people swinging around like monkeys on a tree. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, get your form right. Woo! Oh, see? 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 Like, Mister, I don't use bands. <laughs> see, Mister, use bands. He does, he does one fucking rep and he's out, bro. That big koala bear. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of stuff that I've seen and I've witnessed and I've experienced. So there's a lot of wisdom in this training game. You got to play the long game, man. You can't be... You know, he, he skips my recommendation for bands, does one rep, and then rips his little wing. Um, not my fault, man. It's his. Saying if you if you come into our pipeline, it'll say, "Are you male or female?" It doesn't it doesn't ask you know if there's more than that. There's two, male or female, and uh, it'll always be that way. You guys can get on this app for less than one dollar a day and do the same shit that we're doing. So uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh.